shoot you back. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Man, we got a special treat for you today. You know what it is? A pack of bubblicious coming your way. Everybody wants that, right? Nah, just joking, you guys. See the swag right here? This could be yours. The official Busted Knuckle by Disney Doctor shirt. Come on. Now that is badass. So this right here could be yours. I believe I got five of them made so far. So all you gotta do is like, be a subscriber, and find the hidden character in this video you're about to watch. All right, somewhere in this video is a hidden character that I need you to find. You're gonna tell me that hidden character in the comment section, and I'm gonna go ahead and reward the first five people who get that sucker right. Hey, you guys down? If you're not down, just go ahead and walk away now. I mean, it, stop embarrassing yourself. But if you're down, this is just the beginning. We're doing, we got some big plans for this channel. Hey, stick with us, watch this video, find out for more. Here we are, 2017 International Pro Star. The issue we got today is the fan hub. Let's go ahead and key on, and we're gonna find out what's wrong with this bad boy. Oh, you heard that right off the bat. If it was coming from over here, you'd know it was the fan solenoid. If it's coming from over here, you know it's that fan hub assembly, that clutch. So today, we're gonna figure out how to replace that clutch. Basic tools you're gonna need, too easy. Looking for a part number, there you go. Step one, take off the fan shroud. What size is that? 13. 13 millimeter. Damn, look at that extension. See, it helps to have long arms. Pop that little clip. Damn, that makes it so easy, huh? And there's two more down here. Two more clips down there. Can't really see them. Same thing. And the whole thing comes up. Set it aside. Now we're gonna to wanna to take off the fan blades using a, what is that, 916? 916s? 916s. You're gonna to wanna to hold the fan down while you do this. Perfect time to inspect the fan and find out if there's any damage whatsoever. If there is, replace that sucker. So if you're gonna wanna, also if you wanna blow out your CAC or condenser, now's a great time to do it. You're gonna have all that extra free room. So these fan clutches, would you say they go out often? Yeah. So 500,000 miles, you're guaranteed to go through at least one. More, more than, than likely. More than likely. Yeah. yeah, more than likely. There's those occasions that drivers don't happen. Like, I see someone like at 800,000 with the original one. That's pretty impressive, huh? I was like, wow. Okay. Look at that finger strength right there, huh? That's a man who has a happy wife. That's a... <laughs> Inspect all the blades, make sure we got no issues. I'm gonna have to turn it a little bit. It doesn't, it doesn't really mind. So if it doesn't line up on the bolt bolt, what is it you have to do? If you have an issue with the bolts not lining up with the holes, then we're 
going to end up rotating the back plate. So right now we feed on, and we try to rotate a little bit, and it will not move. So go ahead and take off these two bolts. We're going to rotate the plate that has uh, the countersunk bolts in there, and we're going to remove the whole thing so we can line them up. Now the other method, using a hammer, hammer and chisel, just move it over ever so slightly, give it a little bit of love, show it who's boss, and see if it lines up. This is just one method, which works because look, we're getting pretty centered in the hole there. Yeah. Much better. So either you got that one or the smacking method. So loosening it up counterclockwise. Might have to hold down that clutch if it's uh, a little too tight, a little seized in there. You didn't know they do? Oh, it's clear. We don't know a seat. CCA? They still have permit, they should know. So, as you can see, they had some Loctite on there. They were in there pretty good. Yeah, we don't need it. That's where it was leaking past. As you can see, it was all just going past that O-ring there. The O-ring is kind of that, and then this is worn out already, I believe. This pinned out. Oh pinned out. yeah, that is pretty worn out, isn't it? It's pinned out. Probably got hot. So, that's what it looks like. And that's how it looks like when it sits on there. And then if you don't want to go ahead and hit it on here, you can just take off all these plates. And this comes out, frees up the clutch. Everybody's favorite time, that unboxing video. Well, what's in there, huh? It's not a hmm hmm in a box, is it? Nobody wants that. Could be a snake. Came from China, probably could be a rat. Oh, yep, it's a rat. So new nuts, new washers, beautiful. New bolts, new uh, thingamajigger, I forget what that thing's called. Guy in it, not a guy in it. And a new clutch. Make sure Man, you clean it up. I guess go to the cardboard right here. Oh, look here. at all that debris, right? We gotta wipe that down. So we gotta make sure Put we some get good uh, clean uh, oil on it. Always inspect them, make sure there's no mix or cuts or anything on them. No defects in the clutch, because sometimes they do come screwed up. We like to use this guy right here. Some O-ring lubricant. Makes her very happy. Uh, batteries. Yeah, it's yours, isn't it? Yeah. 
and the over here. The Let's go ahead and clean everything up. When I clean the inside, make sure that's clean enough though. So make sure there's nothing in the hole. That could be blocking or serrated. Or little nicks in there. So you don't get a lot of that. So it's probably what it's going to be. A lot of buildup? Yeah, build up, that buildup will affect it later. Now this is a man who knows how to clean his hole. find any issues with this whatsoever go ahead and just replace the whole hub assembly it's only a few bolts taken off the belt no. which you can catch in one of my other videos all right so we got that piece it only goes all one way is there a front side or a back side no no it's universal and that's going to fit right there on the guide here. Go ahead and get one ready. Just lines up and sinks into place. Don't drop that dun dun dun. Find a hole, screw it in. Don't tighten it down just yet because you got to get make sure the other ones fit on so there. Is it an aggressive or what is it? Yeah, it's aggressive. Okay, so How many bolts? Six. Six bolts. Now we can turn it clockwise and tighten them all down. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to tighten down all these bolts. 50 foot pounds. Sometimes it helps if you get a pry bar in between the studs. You just kind of hold it there. That way nothing moves. Just be careful you don't mess up those studs or that fan's not going to sit right. Let's see how close we were. Oh, I just snugged them. I didn't turn it down. As you can see, we got a pry bar on there to help hold it. That's how it's done. There you go. Also, if you haven't hit that like button yet, hey, now is the perfect time while you're waiting. Hit that like button, grab some popcorn, and watch again. Here's my favorite part, the fishing expedition. Oh, oh, we got a bite. There it is. A little straggler almost got away too. All right, now it's time to put that fan back on. By grease, grease fire, shoot, grease fire. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. They should have cleaned their stuff a little bit. What does that say about that, right? It's very grease. It's like my forehead right now. All right, so we got a washer, we got a lock washer, and we got the nut. Make that happen all the way around. All right, good. Man, you're so ratchet. 
If you wanted to torque them down, 16 foot pounds. Doesn't take too much. Remember, no glove, no love. And the important thing to remember is time is money, so hurry up and get it done. Too easy, right? All right, so we got the locking tabs right there. It's gonna sit in there. And just snaps together, pushes in, and then bolts up. If you have trouble finding the hole, well then she's not going to be very happy. So as you can see right now, it's locked up, it's not moving. So we're going to test it by turning on the key and seeing what happens. Remember originally, it was leaking out air. Keys on, so now it's able to move. See that, nice and free. And if you can hear, no more noise. Not leaking out air anymore. I say it's a pretty damn good job. Realistically, 30 minutes or less. Not bad, right? Especially with that cover coming off so easy. Now, if you wanna get on Volvo, or Freightliner, it's gonna be a little bit different, but pretty much same, same concept. So, what do you guys think? That fan clutch replacement? Doesn't take too long to do. You're gonna get paid three or four hours to do it. If you quote it right, you better quote that sucker right. Um, the only issues you're gonna run into is something going on on that pilot, uh, right where that little isolator, that black rubber piece fits onto, that, pla that plastic piece. Uh, maybe it scarred up the shaft a little bit. That's that's pretty much it. And then you know you're gonna get into a hub and tell that guy to shut it, shut it down over there. What's up with that guy? So. You guys like what you see let me get that thumbs up subscribe send this sucker around and let's keep this sucker going hey stay grinding stay hustling catch you on the next one